Okay, guys, I realized that since you don't have a copy of the book, it's going to be really hard for you to read those last two pages of the book that I missed. So I'm going to read this. Um, this is video number three, but um, look at video, the end of video number two with what you're supposed to do at the end of this. All right. Zopa came to his defense. Sun Ho did not know in Cat Kathmandu, he said. He thought I was taking him here to become a Sherpa. It wasn't until we were on our way to ABC that I told him about the summit. So Josh and I weren't the only ones Zopa played cagey with. I glanced over at the poker game, which was in full swing, with a pile of money in the corner of the table. They were lucky Zopa wasn't playing. I'm going over to the mess tent for some tea, Zopa said. <coughs> I waited until he was out of the tent, then asked Sunho why he hadn't told me that Zopa was his grandfather. Zopa thought it best if we kept that to ourselves, he answered. If Zopa asked me to keep something to myself, I probably would have too. But it still bothered me that Sunho didn't tell me. Zopa returned with the thermos of tea and several mugs. I took my mug over and watched them play poker. I wasn't really interested in the game, but I didn't want to hang with Zopa and Sunho. Holly won every hand, much to everyone's annoyance. About 20 minutes later, Josh and Thaddeus came back to, into HQ. <coughs> At first, I thought Thaddeus had gotten his way because he was all smiles. Sunho noticed his expression, too, and looked disappointed. All right, Thaddeus said, smiling at Sunho and Zopa. You've got your shot at the summit. You're all heading back up to ABC the day after tomorrow, Josh added. The film crew groaned. That's it for this video.